Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dreyfus and Company 1924 series with the Eterna Caliber 39 mechanical movement. So this was a brand that I was completely unaware of, uh, totally not on uh, my radar. And the marketing company that I deal with for Eterna actually reached out to me and asked if we would like to review this model. And uh, I took a look at it, and uh, of course, uh, I definitely see the inspiration here for the Zenith Pilot. And uh, But I liked the look of it, and I said, okay, uh, you know, let's send it on for review. And while it is uh, definitely inspired by the Zenith, uh, there are some differences, uh, especially when I looked at, uh, you know, pictures and everything like that. So let me give you a close-up look here. Um, one of the things that is different, and uh, while it does look similar, if you uh, take a look at the Zenith Pilot, you will notice that the numbers are actually different. They are very much in the same, you know, done in the same style, but they're actually done differently. Um, it also doesn't have those large cathedral hands, though these... Let's call them sword hands with tips do have uh, the similar horizontal lines on them uh, breaking up uh, the look of the hands um, you'll notice the nice second hand there very long goes right out to the uh, edge of the chapter ring there this is a black enamel dial almost mirror like you could see the hand reflection and the markers reflection there uh, very nicely done uh, the crown is also uh, different than the Zenith. Um, it is not as large. It is not that onion, you know, massive, oversized onion style crown. Um, looks like it would be sharp. You know, I guess it's, when you touch it, it's a little sharp on the edges here. But I haven't noticed anything when I was wearing it, like it was digging into my wrist or anything like that. You'll notice a very uh, outer edge bezel area here. It's high polished. And then you have um, your all satin, <clears throat> excuse me, all satin brushed finish on the case. There are screw bars here and they are uh, double sided. So you will need uh, two screwdrivers. So you're looking at a 44 millimeter case, 22 millimeter lugs, 12 and a half millimeters in thickness. Uh, 51 millimeter lug to lug of course it does have a sapphire crystal Swiss made and when we turn it around here you will see the Eterna caliber 39 movement let's try and give you the close-up look here at that your price on this is fifteen hundred dollars uh, that is the going price for this now here's the thing um, unfortunately, uh, there is no e-commerce website set up yet for Dreyfus and Company. Uh, you, the, you can go to the website and check out all the models that they have, but you can't actually purchase. And when I was uh, speaking to uh, the person uh, from the marketing company that I deal with, I'm like, well, how am I supposed to do a review if I can't tell anybody where to go and buy this? So. Obviously, if you look online, if you have a dealer, depending on where you are in the world, if there's a dealer in your area, you can, you know, go and take a look at these somewhere. Um, I, I don't know if I found any dealers in the U.S. I'll have to double check that. But um, <clears throat> these will ship out of the U.K. And I will leave the email down below where you can email and order one directly from the company. So, and that's the only thing I'm going to say is it's... Uh, I wish they had the e-commerce website set up so it'd be easier uh, if you are interested in, in one of their watches to order them as opposed to having to uh, email and uh, order. But uh, I don't think you'll have a problem if you email and order and they'll probably dispatch it within a couple of days and I think shipping is only two days. Uh, they're using uh, FedEx for shipping. So this is an alligator patterned uh, leather strap. You know, it's wider up here and then tapers down. It is a pretty nice leather strap, though. Take a look at the logo here, the same logo. 
that is on the crown. Now this does have a screw down crown, which is something that's nice in my opinion when you see a uh, pilot style watch such as this that actually has a screw down crown. Very, very tight crown. And I don't mean tight in a bad way, but I mean tight in a good way. It's just a tight smoothness when you're winding it and it does screw down very nicely. Take another look at the Eterna movement. Let me give you a quick loom shot. Um, as always, I do have other lights on here, but I will give you a quick real world loom shot here. Uh, the loom on this is actually very, very nice. So let me uh, turn off my studio lights. As you can see, the loom here is really good. And I only threw it under the lamp for a second. Those numbers actually do glow more, which is kind of the way I threw it under the lamp. Uh, but if you check out the pictures at watchreport.com, uh, you'll see how nice this loom is, um, especially in uh, darkness. Let me show you the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. There you go. Really is a beautiful looking watch. And again, yeah, they totally are taking inspiration from the Zenith. Um, but when you take a look at the Zenith, the, the lugs are different. Uh, the numbers actually are different, uh, as well as the hands on this and, of course, the crown. So, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's somewhere in between. I don't know. You know, it is an homage. Um, it is inspired by. It's not a direct copy of it. Um, you're the only one that can answer. You, the viewer, you, the per uh, you know, the consumer, uh, where you lie on that. Um, you know, you can call it a ripoff or you can call it whatever. That's your own personal choice. If you do like this watch, though... Uh, Click the link down below. Uh, I'll have a link um, where you can email uh, to order this and to the website. As always, click the I in the upper right hand part of the screen. We'll take you over to the full review at watchreport.com for my updated thoughts and comments. Leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you are not, you will never miss another review. Follow us on social media. That is where you're going to want to follow us if you want to see uh, what we got coming in. Uh, you know, uh, for reviews, we uh, post uh, pictures and, uh, you know, video clips of what we got, uh, you know, incoming uh, leading up to the review. So if you want to stay up to date with us, that is where to do it. We are on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com, giving you a look at the Dreyfus & Company Series 1924. I'll see you guys on the next video.